All right, this is my uh, Samsung Plasma TV from 2008, and it has a startup problem. I think I've isolated it down to a tantalum cap or a, a buck regulator chip on my main board. Um, and I'll show you that I can make it happen and not make it happen. Um, the parts are um, just in front of my clip right there, that black IC and then the black tantalum capacitor just in front of the clip. All right, so um, I'm gonna apply some heat to it because basically what happens is it turns on cold, scrambles, after it, it then it restarts itself and it works, and that means something warmed up. So um, I'm gonna put a little heat and we'll see if we get her to start up uh, correctly. So turn it on. And we get a picture. That's good. I was hoping to show you the voltage here. Um, yeah, let's see if I can. So there's the voltage. Uh, that's me moving the clip. So that's 3.3 uh, .3 volts. Um, where's my cursor? Horizontal. So BY minus AY, 3.3 .3 volts. All right, now we'll turn off the TV. And what I'm going to do is take my freeze spray and I'm going to cool off that general area right there. And I don't know if that's the, you know, if it's the capacitor or the chip or the chip. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later, but now they're cool. So let's see what happens when we start it up this time. Oh, it worked but check out the voltage here you see how the waveform looks like kind of choppy it's got some uh, um, uh, not the not the little voltage spikes but the chop I'm gonna try this one more time here for you I think it's a tantalum cap all right so All right, one more try. Let's look at the voltage as it comes up here. After it gets under load, it looks bad. That looks bad, and there's the picture. Okay, so all that choppiness on there. Also, the voltage is like down to three point. Uh, um, 3.0 instead of 3.3 .3. you know we'll watch the voltage and maybe we'll see it do it again no load yet that's why it's right at 3.3 .3. TV hasn't really turned on yet still a little choppy but the picture works and if we watch here as this capacitor or the chip warms up it gets up to 3.3 .3 and it hangs there. It's still a little choppy, but at least it's 3.3 .3 volts. Um, from the schematic over here, um, we're looking at uh, C102 on the left. That's a tantalum cap, the chip that's kind of in the box right here. Um, a lot of power comes across here. We can see that there's four pins from the connector. Um, that comes from the power supply that are bringing 5 volts. There's a lot of current we know. This is the digital 3.3 .3 and we, we find that that's what drives the analog 2.5 regulator 
the analog 1.2 regulator and the D3.3 also drives the 1.8 volt regulator. So all those, those three along with the digital 3.3 and three other supplies are all being coming through this chip. There's a lot of load on that. So maybe the chip got damaged. It's, you know, running too, too close to the limits and it's damaged or it could just be a bad cap. I've seen that happen before. Um, I'm going to replace both components later and hopefully show you that it is fixed. All right, that's it for now. We'll get set up to remove the board and uh, replace the parts. All right, so here we go with the repair of my um, plasma TV um, main board. Um, I've narrowed the problem down to um, the power supply on the main board. Um, on the schematic here, it is IC101 and capacitor C102, a 10 microfarad, 10 volt tantalum. Um, that's kind of like the main supply for the for the board the 3.3 volt this is a 3 amp regulator and it's probably just being pushed a little bit to its limits or not heat sink well enough um, so here's the board um, the parts I need to replace are actually on the back but this is where the power connector comes in from the power supply board flip it over here and the parts we need to replace are um, C102 right there and then that IC. Um, I picked up my parts at um, Mouser Electronics, that's the tantalum cap and this is the um, buck regulator um, and both the parts are sitting right there on the package so we'll see if we can get these other ones off the board first. Let's see how this goes. Alright, get the camera balanced maybe. Alright, let's see if we can get her to go. The little bit of flux. There's a heat sink on the back of this chip. And so it's soldered down to the board pretty well. Uh, I've got a heat gun here that is not plugged in. It will be shortly. Got a little heat deflector to kind of focus the heat where we want it to go here. So I don't want to heat my tweezers up because that would just hurt. All right, that's a tantalum cap. I'm actually right-handed, so I'm going to switch here. Seems like it's getting close. There she is. All right, parts removed. Surgery's half complete. Now I'll take the 
soldering iron, we're going to just clean up the pads here on everything. Get all the solder off the pads. All right, that's looking pretty good. So solder's cleaned up. All right. So I'm not going to put any solder on the, the eight pin pads at this point. Just a little bit right there. And I'm going to do the IC first and then I'll just solder the cap with the iron. The IC has to be soldered on with the um, heat gun because we need to get enough heat on this pad. You saw it took a fair amount of heat to get that thing loose. so. Um, all right, so we need to get make also we need to make sure we get this thing put on correctly. This triangle marks pin one of the IC, and there's the dot on the IC right in this corner. So I got those lined up. So I am going to preheat the bottom of the, the board so we don't have to send all the heat through the chip to get the solder to melt. So we'll get the board preheated. And maybe we'll do a little bit of that flux thing again. And there goes the solder, it just melted a little. Just blowing on it now. Yep, it's stuck on there, so the back is now stuck. And it's still warm, so I'm just going to wipe a little more flux on the pins there. And we'll solder the chip before I put the cap on there just so that it's not in the way. And now I'll grab the cap and cap has a this is a polarized cap has a plus and a minus there's a little white dot on this side and we're gonna match the band of the old part just gonna hold it while I touch some solder on one of the pads here there we go Let me see if I can get it centered a little bit more. Shop Jimmy has a repair kit. It includes this IC, 
uh, a cap, although from the picture they're using a ceramic cap like one of these right here instead of a tantalum cap and I'm not sure I wanted to put the same part that was back on the board a low ESR um, cap so I ordered my own tantalum cap they also included an audio chip that's on the other side of this board and I don't believe my audio chip is bad so I just got my parts um, all right so it's soldered back on Pin one's in the right place. The joints look okay. Cap looks okay. Um, there's a test point here marked uh, TP108. Um, that is the 3.3 volt output. And I... Um, actually, I'm going to do it on the other side of the board. Um, if we look here um, on the schematic, um, TP108 is here on the 3.3 volt. There's TP108, 3.3 volt. We can also get the positive on uh, one side of cap 108. That's a 10 microfarad ceramic. I think I know where that is on the other side of the board. So go over here. No, let's see it. Ah, uh, no. C108 is right behind the tantalum. It's this guy. It says C108 on it. Um. So I'm going to solder a wire on that, put it back in, and we'll see if it works. Alright, back with the TV. I've uh, put the board back into the TV in the back here. That's the main board. Left it exposed. Uh, I've got a yellow wire on the 3.3 and black is ground. Coming back to my scope so we can see what the voltage looks like when we turn it on. Uh, this is our first turn on, so hopefully there's no smoke. Let's see what we get. It's at 3.3. You can count on us to be there all along the way. Still starting up. Usually the waveform gets a little there that we saw that before. Um, but clean, other than the the high frequency. Um, Spikes, um, where's trigger? Let's see if I can get that to stabilize a little bit. Um, so the, the crazy, uh, like large spikes that were probably caused by the bad cap are gone. Um, the part that was drawing the voltage down, um, where's, where's cursor here? Um, that's the wrong one. And not that one. The other one. So there's three volts, and it's. Uh, Staying right where it should, and it starts up. So there we go. Uh, picture looks good. Um, where'd my flashlight go? So there's the board, all repaired for a couple bucks. Logic board. Um, lights are flashing. I had another video that showed how to actually isolate the main board by having that board run the TV and put some test patterns on. You can now put a link to that at the end. Um, but that's it. How to fix your plasma TV for five bucks. All right. See you later.